Hello and welcome. I am Suntai Dipachu Guy, and this is the 17th review of series number 10 non premium pouches. And you're thinking there's a non premium pouch playlist? Yes, there is. And I did it all in one sweep four years ago. That playlist will pop up at the end of this video with a short monetized video. So we will be taking a look at a new product and that is Cougar Wintergreen Pouches. So we're going to take it over to the desk right now, take a look at the packaging and the product inside. And then after that, we'll come back up top for my thoughts. Back in a moment. Okay, and here we are. So it is the new new cans. So there were the new cans when Cougar was re-released and now this is a new version of the new cans. So it looks like I'm going to I'm going to be honest, I'm not a fan. I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it, but uh, uh you know, uh the only thing raised here is the thin rim going around the edge here in bronze because it is a pouch product and that is in the American Snuff Company fashion and there is sort of raising on the word cougar all right overall to me this looks like <sighs> they got the design department over at wwe to design their can that's that's why it, it's just a little bit too much glitter going on here i'm just not a fan that said you know i'm i'm sort of a fan of older stylings and how things were so going around to the side there are some changes to it now the website is cougardips.com website is 21 plus because why not there is your warning label barcode and this is where things get a little bit different and i'm going to bring this camera up just ever so slightly because i'm losing focus there my hand, by the way, here is uh, a callus that's going to be building due to a certain maneuver with a shrub rake that I only do this time of year. So no, no worries there. Okay, so it's manufactured by American Snuff Company, the makers of Grizzly, of Levi Garrett, of Kodiak, etc. The change here is that it is no longer headquartered out of Memphis, Tennessee. And... Knowing that Memphis is turning into even more of a war zone than it was originally, which was already pretty bad, I can see why they may have wanted to get out. So they are now in Clarksville. Of Originally, I, when I didn't quite look at it real, real close, I was like, oh, it's probably some, like, you know, satellite town of Memphis. No, Clarksville is actually not really close to memphis at all as far as the state goes uh it is to the north and east up along the kentucky border so it is 70 percent u.s tobacco and 30 percent imported tobacco that is not absolutely terrible this is a budget product so that is you know okay it is running at the 0.84 ounces uh which is standard for american snuff company pouch products they are putting it across that it is, in fact, moist snuff. There's the American Snuff Company branding. And then large branding for the product itself. All right. On the back, they have one of their cans and one of their codes. So it's G3. And I'm going to go out on a limb and say the G corresponding with the number for the month is... Uh, June or July, July, and the three is 2023. So let me just do the math on that. I'll need my fingers for this. So it is July for the G and 2023 is denoted by that three. Five months out is the standard for Grizzly products. So we're within the realm there of this being good. So I'm going to open it up. Um, I am expecting a moist 
fairly moist as pouches go. Wintergreen, not overly sweet. So it's going to be more in line with Grizzly and Krodiak. And they're, wow. Okay, that is extremely moist. Now, do keep in mind that American Snuff Company products are pouched in brown pouches. The pouch material is brown itself. But what you're seeing there is tobacco sort of staining through the pouch. That's the blacker or darker portions there. So, wow. Nope. Yep. They're they're really. We're gonna do the. We're gonna do the test. Whoa. Okay. Okay, Kodiak. Not Kodiak. What am I talking about? <laughs> That's the way up one price with Grizzly coming in a close second anymore from what I'm hearing. So this is what you're looking at. I'll take a count when I bring the camera back up top here. But usually it has always been American Snuff Company products have 18 pouches in a can. I can smell the winter green coming off this. I can, I can smell from here and I'm about... Uh, maybe uh, 14, 15 inches away. I can smell it coming up. It smells good. So we are going to take this back up top. Yeah, well, you know what? I can say this is a true statement. Well, no, it's only half true. The never punches out is half true. I don't have a time clock moving on. Anyway, so here we go. We're going to head back up top. And we are back up top. Now, this is not a short format review, but I am noticing that I am running through it pretty quick. Uh, there's not really a lot to go cut-wise or whatnot, so we sort of save time on that aspect. I'm going to throw one of these in at first because I just want to re-get the feel again of what only one pouch. I, it's been so long since I've done a pouch product. These things are ridiculously... The moisture level is like through the roof on these. It's a new product. So if you see it and you like winter green, you may want to get it because new products are always guaranteed. It's your best bet of fresh anything the closest to what it's supposed to be like because it's a new product and it just came out. I know I'm going to go to two patches. I, I usually, on reviews... Go to two pouches but i haven't done a pouch review now the closest one was on the premium playlist with the revamped kodiak winter green uh but that was a year ago yeah so i'm gonna throw two of these in because <laughs> this is like one third the size of a uh what i put in with my stokers at the one pouch mark Man, these things are wet. I mean, I was looking at it. I guess I showed you the lid, but it's even sitting on the lid. And I don't know if it... Yeah, I mean, it's like... Okay, so cut, how it holds in the mouth, all that is not going to be... A thing here. Um... It is coming off as a strong winter green with contact burn. It's not too heavy, but it's there. The flavor, you know what? It doesn't seem as, I think personally, this is my own personal opinion. I think Grizzly's winter green it's a little bit harsh. Not so much on my gum or anything like that. Just the flavor has a, a real edge to it. It's unlike Copenhagen wintergreen, which is real sweet. This is definitely, you know, related to Grizzly wintergreen. But it just doesn't quite seem to have the harshness. Of the Grizzly product. Keeping in mind, I have not done Grizzly Wintergreen either for quite some time. So, 
Um, there is sort of a sweetness to this, but it, it, I would not put it off as an overly sweet product. Only people that would be like, oh, wow, this is really, really sweet, or maybe Europeans would be like, okay. Uh, as far as the whole bit, I mean, look, I liked the revamp cans. The only thing I didn't like about them was that they had a classic Cougar on it. They had raised aspect. The original Cougar cans that I reviewed five years ago were completely flat. But, I mean, besides the rim around the edge, they're complete. And I like that. Um, you know, it, it, it's a budget dip. And as, as far as I know, from what I've heard from people around the country mentioning it, it is being priced as a budget. So... This is, I look, if pouches, if for some reason you need pouches, and there are reasons to have pouches, I don't have any reason for them, but there are legitimate reasons for needing a pouch product. You may want to check these out, uh, because it's a really good showing, and as I said, you don't really get much fresher than a new product out. So... These, it's it's just a good show. Uh, the, you know, the whole Cougar line, it just seems like American Stuff Company is getting very stretched out. And everybody's saying that the Grizzly products around them are going up and up in price. So I, I'm not quite sure. I'm a little skeptical as to if this is going to work out or backfire on American Stuff Company. But you can still reap the rewards in the short term. It doesn't split, spit, spit black like my Snokers, but it is juicing up. So, overall, good showing. Nicotine seems to be there. It's a close relative to the winter green flavor profile of Grizzly. It's extreme. Let me, let me just show you that again. Oh, that's why I pressed down. I don't think I even really needed to press down on that pouch in retrospect. Um, all in all, it's worth checking out. There was a straight pouch, which I'm really wishing I had been able to get a hold of now, but I believe it has already been discontinued. This product was sourced for me. By Mr. Renner. And I would like to thank him. And if you see him in the comments section, please thank him yourself. He sourced this for me and a couple other products that will be upcoming. Okay, so anyway, this has been my review of Cougar Wintergreen Pouches. Brandon Renner, again, thank you very much. All right. Um... And that's it. I am the Suntai Dippachu guy. I do hope you are well. As always, do take care of yourselves, and God bless.